success forecast drawing. So this is Albany Hills artwork. She's in second grade and we've got a mixed bag. Some thunderstorms. This is kind of our September weather, right? We started off with some thunderstorms, rain, thunder, lightning, flowers, and now the butterflies are out and they're enjoying the sunshine and so fabulous artwork there. Not much in the way of thunderstorms today. We're going to see more of the sunshine. 86 degrees your temperature at recess. It'll feel like it's 86 because we're low on the humidity and no, there's no chance of rain. Don't forget that you can send your kids artwork to color the weather at KTRIPLITV.com to be featured during the weather forecast. We love uh, their help. I appreciate their help in telling the forecast. It, it always makes the day better. So sunny conditions today. Very nice, pleasant weather. 90 degrees around three o'clock. So that's as you're leaving school and then high school football games will start off in the 80s and temperatures will fall into the 70s this evening. One thing we do still have ongoing across our beaches is the coastal flood advisory that is in place across all coastal bend beaches. That's Aransas County, Nueces County, Clayburgh County. So this is the side effects of Ian at least through Saturday, but I think that we may continue to see some water potentially up to the dunes through the weekend. So I would use caution heading to the beach this weekend. There's also the elevated rip current risk, higher tides, and those high tides are in the evening, which is a positive note, but we've had some really strong swells that are bringing water up across our beaches, even when it's not high tide. Our waves are going down, so they're not going to be uh, quite as high as we saw yesterday. We'll be around two to four feet today, one to three feet Saturday. Those periods getting shorter for a little bit choppier conditions, one to two feet by Sunday. So floating weather trying to return. Three day forecast wind is going to play a role in those waves. We'll see the east southeast winds returning. That's what's going to help lower those periods. Winds will be out of the east northeast predominantly today, but it, they will be kind of variable as well. Dew points are still running on the low side. We've got really comfortable to draw almost dry air heading into Saturday. Saturday, but Sunday we are going to increase our moisture just a tad. We'll see some more cloud coverage then 89 degrees or high on Sunday. We'll start off around 65, 64 your low on Saturday or morning 90 degrees your high tomorrow. So we are tracking Hurricane Ian category one hurricane, not very organized as it is approaching Charleston, South Carolina, but we do have winds up to 85 miles per hour. That storm going to continue to move to the north through Saturday. And that's where all the rain is going to be for the most part this week. Texas is going to be left. Oh, uh, well, rather dry out there. We do have an uh, area of high pressure setting up across Texas. That'll bring kind of some monsoonal moisture up into the, the Rockies. But what we've got going on is that dry air coming down around the edge of uh, that Hurricane Ian. High pressure developing, that's what's going to bring our onshore flow back. So we will start to see our moisture increasing heading into next week, but it's still going to be running drier than we were during the summertime. So humidity levels still on the lower side, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, but we'll see more cloud coverage by then. Highs hanging out right around 90. Barbie John Thomas.